G'day there legends, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this video, we are going back to a little bit of SharePoint 101 here. Uh, a question came up in one of my videos um, where somebody wanted to provide some type of lightweight audit trail for uh, changes to documents. Um, and again, this is just a little bit of uh, awareness around SharePoint document management functionality. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the check-in and check-out functionality. Now, we're all streaming ahead with collaboration and co-authoring and everything like that. Now, there are some instances where we might want exclusivity around when we're editing documents and provide that type of governance around certain types of docs and then have a process to then um, make a note of what changes somebody made. So we can do that with check in and check out. So let's have a look. I'm in a policies library here and you can see I've got just a number of policies. Now, if I click these three little dots here and I go to more, you can see that I've got the ability to check a document out. Now it's kind of hidden. It's not in the in the first list. It's it's hidden behind another sub menu. So oftentimes when people are using SharePoint, these types of things are a little bit missed because they're not front and center. So I can check a document out now you can see that I've got this red little uh, down to the right arrow pointing, which means I have checked this document out. Now this means that I can edit this document without anybody else editing this. Everybody else that's coming to this library while I'm editing this while it's checked out will only see the latest previous version before I check the document out, okay? So I can make my changes. I'm gonna open up the code of conduct policy here. I am just going to make a few little changes here. Uh, what we might do, let's use a little bit of Copilot here, right? So I'm gonna say, uh, select this. I'm going to, let's make this, make it formal, all right? So we're gonna draft a rewrite. We'll just do a quick little rewrite here. And you can see that I've got three options. So Copilot gives me three different options here. I like this third one. I'm gonna replace that, all right? So we are good, all right? So that's now been saved. I'm gonna head back to my policies library now. This is still checked out. So I can say, uh, actually, let's just have a look and see which section we did edit. So we edited the introduction, all right? So I'm going, I'm going to make a note that I edited or I changed the introduction. So I am now going to go back to more and I can say check in. Now, when I go check in, I'm presented with this dialog box. Um, I'm going to write here, I rewrote the intro to be more formal, okay? And I'm going to check that document back in. Now you can see that little red arrow disappears, the documents check back in, and everybody can now see that latest, or the latest changes that I've made, all right? Now if I go back into my version history here, what we'll see is I've got version number five, and you can see that I've got the comments here. So it does provide us with that trail of changes that were made, provided the user adds that comment, all right? So that's, again, just a little bit of user education, governance, um, rules, regulations, you know, those types of things to make sure that the people that are editing or do have the ability to edit these documents are just following that process so that we do have a standardized approach and then that way everybody can keep track of what has happened and we do get that audit trail of changes, all right? so. Thanks for watching. A little bit of a hidden feature behind the three little dots, behind another more menu. You do have the ability to check in and check out documents because sometimes we don't want that co-authoring. We do want that exclusivity and that process-driven approach. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.